Hi everyone! Today we will move to the IELTS speaking mock test with education topic. Are you ready? Let's begin. Good morning. What's your full name, please? My full name is Casey Nguyen. Could you please show me your ID card? Here it is. Nice to meet you. My name is, and I come from. I'll begin by asking you some questions about yourself. Yep. What is, was your favorite subject? I'm interested in literature, so I'm good at this subject. I even got the highest score of literature in my high school since I was a student. What do you enjoy about studying? What do you dislike? Well, I really love to go to school to enrich my knowledge and improve my skills. However, in some cases, it's actually very stressful and heavy workload in order to get a good performance. Do you usually study on your own or with friends? Actually, I prefer to study on my own because I found it really difficult to learn by heart with friends surround. Are you easily distracted when you study? Yes, I am. That's reason why I choose learn alone instead of studying in a team. Thank you very much. Let's move on cue card topic. Here's the question. Describe a teacher that has influenced you in your education. You should say who this person is, what kinds of things they taught you, what other people say about them, and explain how they have influenced you. I'd like you to speak on this topic in two minutes. Before that, you have one minute to prepare. And here's some paper and pen for you to make some notes if you wish. Well, could you please begin? I would like to talk about my high school literature teacher who has changed my mind about this subject and helped me to get the best result for it. Honestly, before that, I wasn't into this subject, even I didn't want to spend time on it. However, my teacher has the best teaching method which even changed my life. In detail, many people find that literature is too difficult to understand, to feel or remember, but my teacher always showed us how to jot down or script down the core information quickly so you can remember it. From my point, she has the scientific thinking and knows how to apply it even to literature. Moreover, she usually creates practical activities enable the student to put into practice the theory and skills they are studying. Often in a practical environment such as literature festival or literature and painting combination. Besides, she always encourages us to speak out our feeling and raise our voice about things we care, especially she actually want to listen and understand, then help us to enrich the vivid imagination. Notably, she became our friend with the best advice for study and our real lives as well. In addition, she focused on giving and receiving feedback as an important part of education, which is useful for perfecting her teaching method and our ability. Even though we have graduated, we still keep in touch with her and most of my classmates, including me, decided to enroll in Communication and Journalism Academy, then work in the related field. Last but not least, we always remember and try the best to be as honest and thoughtful as her. Thank you very much. 
Let's move on to discussion topic related to education. Do you think teachers should help students develop and share their ideas? Actually, I guess that it depends on the teacher's ability. In fact, there are still a large number of teachers who don't know how to encourage their students. In contrast, there are many hospitable teachers can push their students to speak their mind well, even become someone that their students can trust in or share things in the real life. How do you think teachers can motivate students to study better? From my point of view, teachers usually know which is the best teaching method for their students whom they communicate often and understand well. Moreover, pedagogy is a complicated field with just the teachers know how to use it to teach their students so as to get the good result. Do you think it's better to have one-to-one -one lessons or study in a class? Well, I suppose that each type of study has its own benefit. For example, from one-to-one -one lessons, it's easier for the teacher to focus on only one student and the student can ask everything they wish or find out the weakness of the student to solve effectively. Meanwhile, learning with classmates is usually more interesting and many students have the tendency to learn from their peers. Thank you very much. It's the end of our test. Thank you for watching. What are you waiting for? Click to subscribe us. Remember, don't hesitate to ask if you need any help.